G'day and welcome to Google Slides Mini Tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to do a bulleted list. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab a slide and with a text box and a list of items that you want to make uh, into bulleted form. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. So we have your list here. All you have to do is go ahead and highlight your list. Go up here where it shows this uh, little, obvious little icon of a bulleted list. And you can go ahead and choose the little write it little arrow to the next of it and choose the various pre-formatted ones here or what you can also do as well is go ahead and just select it which will make a very generic uh, list for uh, bulleted for you just normal bullets uh, circled bullets but what you can do with these bullet lists is if you left click on these bullets here you can go up here and you can change the color of them so if you want them to be different shade of red or blue or whatever you want you can just do that and highlight it and it will change those bullets to that color as well you can change the bullet itself so although when you've done the right list here you only have like six options which wasn't very much but if you right go over here and put your mouse over on top of the bullet and right click on it you have the option there for more bullets click on more bullets and now you're in this window here with this window here, you can choose this uh, drop-down box here, where you can go into Categories, choose the different categories, oh, sorry, my mistake, you can go in there and choose the different categories of uh, bullets that you want to use. You can even have a, the motion I, the mo uh, excuse me, you can even have the different piece ones here, you can go into Game Pieces here and have Crowns, whatever you want to have, you can go and choose. One thing that I really like that I only discovered actually here now was this piece over here. This allows you to draw what you want. So if you want a heart, you can just draw a heart and it will bring up a list of hearts. If you want something that looks like a L shape, you can go into an L shape and it brings up L shaped ones. If you want circles, circles bring up the different circle shapes. If you want triangles, Pretty much anything you can think of. You want a diamond? It's not very really good diamond, but it still recognizes it, and you can change it to diamonds. So as you can see, you can do a search for anything you want here. You can go to categories and choose your category that you want, or you can just draw a picture of what you want, and it will try to find what it has in its database that is similar to it as possible. Like for example, I'm making something like a clock and it brings up a few different clocks so it's very powerful you can choose any type of bullet that you want to have so that gives you a little bit more flexibility because i know if you were like me the first thing you did was just choose a bullet form here and it had circles or you choose to drop down and your only options was kind of a square or narrow and a few other things and if you notice there as well the bullets are different if you tab in so if you did choose the basic one here and you had this one you can go to this little arrow here to increase the indent and when you do that it changes the design so you can have a different design on different layers of your bullet so that's it that's a very short tutorial for today apologize i stumbled over my words a few times but hopefully as time goes on my tutorials get a little better as usual uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe have a great day